like to focus on the projects you are working on at the moment and the upcoming ones, and I would also like to know what you think that science can add to the arts and vice versa. I'm the head of Art Satsang, which is the arts official program of CERN. The CERN is uh, located in Geneva, it's the largest laboratory dedicated to particle physics and is the host of uh, big and uh, famous experiments as uh, the Large Hadron Collider. So the, the arts program at CERN uh, intends to be a, um, a, a framework to invite artists to be part of this uh, huge community of scientists that are looking at the uh, most invisible and subtle events in the universe and in, in, in the hidden phenomena of nature. Uh, CERN scientists are most of them uh, particle physicists as well as engineers that try to uh, uh, go deeper into the nature of matter to understand the properties of this matter and uh, furthermore to, to know what is the origin of the universe uh, and our world and, and this, uh, the understanding of what everything is uh, surrounding us as well as uh, ourselves. So uh, this is an amazing opportunity for an artist to go deeper into uh, fundamental questions of uh, being of nature, of uh, cosmos, of systems, etc. And uh, for the last, uh, last uh, six years, we've been working intensively in making art and science connection, uh, connections happening in this environment. The art satsang uh, brings the opportunity to, for the artists to become researchers within the scientific environment. Uh, so for doing that, we set up uh, four programs per year, four different ways to uh, participate uh, in some uh, dynamics. Uh, two of them are under the umbrella of the Collide program. Collide uh, provides an opportunity to do an extended research at CERN with a three months residency. Uh, at the moment, uh, we have the open call running, the international one. So uh, with this, any artist from any country in the world can uh, submit a proposal uh, for uh, developing research at CERN during three months. Uh, by doing that, uh, we uh, invite a committee to select the, the best proposals and uh, after a short list, we decide of one. The artist comes here for uh, uh, two or three months and uh, uh, works intensively with a scientific partner, a scientist who is involved in the process of uh, research of the artist. Uh, the focus as well is that the scientists and artists um, establish um, a companionship uh, and um, develop conversations and dialogues and find a common ground of their own practices. Then we have uh, Accelerate. Accelerate is another project and we have two calls per year. Accelerate offers the opportunity to two countries per year to be part of um, uh, our program and at this uh, very moment, we are about to announce the, the artists that are coming from Croatia and South Korea. So, uh, well, last year was uh, Lithuania and United Arab Emirates, and um, next year will be other two countries. So we develop international relationships with institutions to provide artists from their countries to do that. So these are our programs. We are really focusing on providing a, a place for artists to, to develop research, and, and these are uh, the mechanisms uh, we, we have for that. Do they receive a, a fee or a, a stipendium? Well, yes. yes, yes, that's, that's very important. For us, uh, we look at uh, high standards, uh, 
in the practice, but also in the way we can support uh, research. So when an artist comes here, uh, it receives uh, the same amount as a scientific researcher. Uh, so the, the residencies are fully funded and uh, the, we cover accommodation travels, uh, is subsidized in any sense, uh, and uh, as well as a um, prize award. And then is, is there any um, artist you're working on at the moment, or is there any specific project you would like to focus on? Well, at this moment, we have an artist, Cassandra uh, Simon Proel, from Switzerland. She's a writer. Uh, she's uh, uh, um, she works with narratives uh, allowed by digital technologies, and uh, she's been with us for almost three months. Uh, now she's about to complete her residency. So right now she's working on new narratives around uh, uh, collective memory in scientific environments and, uh, and will do a presentation at the end of her residency to provide uh, the audience, our public, scientists and cultural uh, producers with uh, the outcomes of her residency. And next month, well, in a few days, um, Jun Chul Kim from South Korea, from Seoul, he, he will come for, to stay with us for two months and he will, uh, he's been working for a few years now with um, uh, subtle phenomena happening in uh, materials, in different kinds of materials uh, that he mix uh, in his lab laboratory, in his studio, and he experiment with in a sort of alchemia, uh, contemporary alchemia. And uh, yes, these are the two artists that are coming now. And, uh, and uh, Cassandra is already here, and uh, Jun Chul will come soon. The focus of CERN is fundamental physics. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it's, uh, it's basic science. It's not applied science, even though that uh, at some point it might affect industrial development, but the focus uh, and the, the, the goal, all the thousands of people who work at San Half are, is, on, is only one, uh, is uh, understanding the nature of the universe. So with that, it's really interesting to see how the artists uh, get adapted and react to this kind of environment because it's not applied science. You, you, you really need to make the intellectual effort to understand things that are really hidden and that are far from our logic, from our daily uh, logic. Uh, understanding uh, uh, quantic nature or uh, phenomena is something that is not very accessible for any of us. I think this is what makes it so unique. And um, and then, of course, there is the aspect of being, a, as well as many other campuses in, in the world uh, at this moment, uh, uh, CERN is a giant collaboration of people from all over the world. And, uh, and there is a, well, everyone try to communicate with each other what they are doing, because in science, uh, it's very important, as you know, uh, that uh, people communicate with each other. It's the only way they can extend their research. So when we invite artists to be part of this uh, process, uh, it becomes really relevant for them as well. Because artists uh, are not, uh, well, the standard of an artist is, is not so, um, connected and uh, is not so keen to to express what they are doing every day. But if, if in, uh, in science it's fundamental, it's really, it's really the only way to progress. Uh, so yes, this environment is very welcoming to anyone with good ideas and interesting questions because people are really, really keen to, to, to discuss and dialogue. And uh, yes, yes, I, I think I think it's 
it's a beautiful opportunity and very intriguing place for any any artist. What do you think that art can provide to science? Well, art uh, provides the realization that wonder and curiosity are fundamental for humanity, for our species. We are always a bit dissatisfied by the questions and questions and answers, and uh, this is part of our nature as a species, and this is uh, positive in the way that we always try to improve things and understand better. And uh, nowadays, uh, all of us are really informed uh, about the many things that are going on around our world, and the, the information is there, it's being processed, it's fluid, it's, it's uh, all over our environment, ourselves. But uh, being knowledgeable, the urge to, to know more and to try to understand further, this is something that artists and scientists do really well. And uh, so it's about creating meaning to information. And, and in this case, in our case, in the residency at CERN, uh, is in, in looking for the, the meaning of conversations between people that are looking at what the universe is made of. And it's a fascinating environment to do that. From my experience, I see that um, the, the scientists, their approach towards the future um, as a scientist is very positive. While I see that artists, uh, the artistic approach sometimes is very skeptical, they, they do criticize more technologies and scientific developments. So do you also see these uh, different approaches in, in, um, in your experience? I think, I think both of them are very skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> But scientists have, in a way, uh, a better plan. <laughs> yes, it's true. That's what they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the the plan is 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 planned uh, collectively, and uh, it's in the long term. And there, they might be contingencies in the way this plan is delivered, but. Uh, these contingencies are even part of the plan as well. <laughs> While artists are uh, are more open to to find uh, things that are unexpected, that are have been not uh, planned, have not been drawn in the in the scenario. Let's say what is going to happen in 20 years. Uh, I think. Artists are much more free to to improvise and to fail. But uh, if we if we talk a bit about failure, failure is a very way a very positive uh, 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 topic for either art and science. Yeah. Uh, error, mistake, is something that is um, in science part of the contingency. In art, it's part of the, the, the process. aesthetics. So I, I think there are many things that they don't have in common, that they would disagree with, but the general uh, feeling is the same, is rather that their choices are different. Of course, uh, artists are the, those who make the awkward questions. Artists come with these uh, questions that um, um, bring other layers more uh, close to uh, epistemology, like the nature of knowledge, what are the boundaries, or uh, the humanities, the social issues, the economical and political, the anthropological, the etc., etc., etc. So there are many more uh, layers to add. And this is, uh, is systemic. It can become very complex. With science, uh, I think in my, in my humble opinion, it happens uh, similarly. 
but he is not so open to speculation. Uh, uh, also, uh, I think many artists uh, um, practice right now uh, a bit of uh, contra, uh, uh, contra, uh, contra culture of uh, the, the, what is uh, being accepted. And I, I think science as well as other uh, 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 other structures in our societies is is is, all, is criticized, but by many many of of them. And yeah, yeah, that's that's how I see it. Yeah. The last question, Monica. Do you have some specific example that you want to talk to us about of uh, a project? Um, by an artist who has worked with uh, your scientists? Uh, yes, uh, well, as I said before, uh, the residencies are focused on research. And, um, and uh, it's uh, very much focused on a proposal that arrives to us before the artist comes here. And when the artist developed the residency, this proposal mm, change or, uh, or, or um, goes further, much further than the initial idea, or is dropped directly. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Particle physics is really uh, a, a very, very expert, uh, and uh, not very. It's not very common that people understand what is a, uh, what particle physics is about uh, 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 at priori, but um, well, we we also had the, the luck and the chance to work with artists that are really uh, new was uh, were very informed about the particle physics, like Ryoji Ikeda, who came uh, to work with us in 2014 and 15, and. Uh, Ryoji Keda realized uh, after the residency and uh, during the residency uh, to major installations that have been touring around the world since then. And, uh, and he's a very good example in, in how our science uh, is affecting uh, the, uh, the research of an artist that for a long time has been looking at uh, physics and mathematics uh, in, in a very, very uh, uh, detailed uh, way. Uh, Ryoji Keda uh, went to, to work uh, with uh, some, very, some of the very um, uh, still experimental theories, like supersymmetry, and um, dedicate most of his research to understand the physics and the, the equations around it. And, uh, and later on, uh, he went to talk to the scientists to contrast his ideas and his understanding of these theories. So uh, yes, I, I think he, uh, he was one of the most, uh, he gave us one of the most uh, successful residencies so far, and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm.